So today I want to actually discuss uh, uric acid and how you could detoxify uric acid from your kidneys and from your body. Most people have this idea that uric acid is primarily a waste product only, but it has some other functions that you may not know about. Number one, it can act to stimulate the nervous system, okay? Because the chemistry of uric acid is very similar to caffeine. So it's a neurostimulant. It can actually bring up your mental focus. Even though it's a, it has oxidative properties, it also has antioxidant properties as well. It can help to neutralize very reactive compounds like something called the hydroxyl radical and hydrogen peroxide. It can even chelate iron because excessive iron is very, very harmful in the body. Another function, it actually can help your immune system. So it's not all bad. And there's several ways that uric acid can build up in the body. Uh, number one, fructose is one. Uh, let's say you consume a lot of chocolate. Also, you can actually increase more protein. And even being on a high carb diet, I mean, having prediabetes or even diabetes can increase your uric acid levels. But fasting, and this is what I'm gonna talk about, fasting at a certain point can spike this uric acid because your body needs these, this antioxidant. In certain studies, it can increase between 4.1 milligrams per deciliter to 10.7 milligrams per deciliter. So it, it's gonna spike up, but it's like a bell curve and it comes right back down. Now, if you're susceptible to getting uric acid, kidney stones, or gout, there's a couple things you need to realize. Maybe you need to increase your vegetables or decrease your animal protein, okay? Because of this, if your urine is slightly too acidic, okay, you'll have a tendency to retain uric acid in the kidney. If you just alkalize the urine a little bit, what happens is this uric acid then can actually come out through the kidneys and you can urinate it out. So when you look at uric acid levels, let's say they're high in the blood if you're doing a test, you really have to understand the whole picture and realize that it may be having these other effects. It's not all bad, but if you wanted some symptomatic relief, here's what you could do. You can actually take potassium citrate, um, which is alkaline. You can consume more vegetables, which I think you should do. You can cut down your proteins. You can also take something called sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda, a real simple solution. You take a teaspoon, not heaping, in 12 ounces of water, dissolve it, drink it in your fasting state, maybe right before you go to bed, uh, but don't drink it right when you're, you're eating because that will neutralize the stomach acid and it might be harder to digest. So to recap, these two remedies are more for a symptomatic relief. Ultimately, you just need to increase your vegetables, decrease your protein to correct this imbalance so that way your pH can be correct. All right, thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications. Daily notifications, that sounds weird. Well, I'll just remind you on a daily basis, how about that?